Well, Tommy Goldsmith has been getting us down on the dance floor since the 80s, lending her powerhouse vocals to girl band the Chantuzies. The entertainer has blessed us with hits including Witch Cream, Kiss and Tell and this Feel Good Tune. Good fun, huh? Since then, Toddy's career has gone from strength to strength, becoming a small and silver screen favourite and dedicating her time to countless hours of charity work. But now, the Aussie has royalty in her sights, receiving a medal of the Order of Australia as part of the Queen's birthday celebrations. And Toddy Goldsmith joins us live from Melbourne. Uh, hi, Toddy. Last time uh, we spoke to you, you were over in LA doing some acting. It must be nice to be home, is it? Well, I'm actually up in northern New South Wales, guys. I'm just up <laughs> above you. But it is beautiful to be home. It was pretty um, intense being in LA when the whole thing kind of broke, corona broke out. Yeah. Hey, um, last week you were honoured with this really special award. Congratulations. Great stuff. Appointed Thanks, a Medal of the Order of Australia for service to the community and the performing arts. How did you feel when you heard that news? I, well, you, you receive an email, and actually I'll take one of these out. You receive an email, and when I first read it, I was like, I think they got it wrong. <laughs> Just so, and then they rang me because I didn't respond, and then I realised I have done a lot. I've done an enormous amount of charity, and I've been doing it since I can remember. And, it's, and as it kind of landed... I, I just felt really, really honoured, really, really touched. But I run into, because of the charity work I do, I meet so many people that give so much. And so I went, well, why am I any different? And then went, OK, I do. I put in every spare kind of minute I have into trying to give back and be of service, you know, on, on a lot of levels. Well, it's mm. fabulous. So it's very yeah, nice. Congratulations. So uh, mm. when they introduce you on stage now, a bit Toddy Goldsmith, OAM. <laughs> Takes the microphone. Lady Toddy. <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. Lady Tots. Oh, Lady Tots. Lady Tots. Yeah. That sounds good. Hey, your auntie, Olivia Newton John, posted a really moving message about the award saying she was so proud of you. That, that must have meant a lot. That's great stuff. Well, she is like, oh, she is so excited. She sent family emails, sending me texts, doing all these posts. I'm like, she is, it's beautiful to see her so moved by it and also because I've given so much of my time over the last sort of you know 12 13 years to her hospital the Olive Newton John Cancer Research and Wellness Centre so it's yeah it's beautiful she's very much a mother figure to me and my dad's pretty chuffed as well yeah, I yeah. Tell you, but he's not so good on the social media <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about your latest film it's called The Taverna it's a comedy and it's out soon I think we all need a bit of a good laugh don't we we uh, so do tell don't we? us it's, about it's, it. Well, it's a black comedy. It's a very, very dark comedy, and it's set in a Greek taverna over one night, and all, all of these people that are in the taverna are somehow linked, and then by the end of the film, everybody has a shift in their life. And so it's, it's dark, it's funny, it's, it's really wonderful. It's so much fun being part of it. And a lot of it was night shoots. We're up to, like, I was being wrapped in glad wrap at 2 a.m., <laughs> for one stage yeah. in the back of a car. So it was lots of fun and um, I'm really so happy it's been released because yeah. in the you know in these times I was just going what you know what's going to happen because it was going to be released in March. So I'm very very happy for the um, for the producers the directors and all the cast for everyone that it's actually to be released. Yeah, come on, Toddy. 2 a.m. is an early night for you. We all know that. Cinemas, <laughs> have, been Cin cinemas have been closed now for months, right? You you've got to be no. busting to see this up on the big screen. Well, I'm actually just busting to go to the movies as well, like yeah. all of us, just having those beautiful little moments to get out and be back. I, I have no idea how it's going to be structured with the social distancing, how many people mm. got fit. Yeah, we'll Do have you have any news on that? No, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, you've also been channelling your musical talents. Uh, this is a project <laughs> called Homegrown Superstars. It's you and Brian yeah. Mannix uh, <laughs> teaming up to judge a special 80s themed competition. Nothing says 80s like Brian Mannix, does it? Uh, tell us about Nothing. that. Nothing. Oh, it's just a really great initiative. Um, Millsy has um, done on Instagram and it's so great for people to at home to be able to, you know, look forward to doing something and be in a competition. And they started this competition during ISO. The, the idea had come, I think, from like four or five years ago. But it just took off. And so every week they had 
um, guest judges and Bryzy and I did the good old 80s, of course. And it's just, yeah, it's a really great initiative and it's just going from strength to strength. So if you've got any talent as a singer, um, just get onto Instagram and have a look at homegrown superstars and get in the mix of it. And they also, um, they're giving people 250 bucks to win and 250 bucks to their favorite charity. That's so nice. good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hey, things are getting back to normal now. What's the first thing you're gonna do? Well, I've done it. I've driven up to, I'm staying at my brother's place in northern New South Wales. So I'm in the warmth. It gets, you know, it's a long, it's a lot just being in your street, in your apartment, and then, you know, going to your local shops and just get, getting in the car and going for a drive and getting out felt so beautiful. Yeah. So, but hopefully, you know, I've had a couple of scripts sent and I've been doing a lot of courses and doing my tap dancing online. So I've kept myself pretty busy. And, um, but it'd be really nice to get back to work. I'm such a, a workhorse and also the charity work. You know, yeah. there was nothing I could really do through these times as well. So I've really missed everything. Oh, congratulations, uh, Toddy, on your big honour. You are an inspiration, if for nothing else, than the tap dancing online lessons that you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Nice awesome. to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you, Lady Tots. Great to see you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Tots.